but it's not all about the event. So it's maybe it's below than that. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. This is just the wedding, though. I mean, we're talking about a family of four want to, you know, plan an event for a party, birthday party for what their children or one of the child having a birthday party coming soon. I can, you know, work with them. So they, I, I know that they come back. They can come back in the future. They can always by word, word of mouth. They can spread the word to everybody. Or family reunion. Yes, I can do that too. Great. Good. We'll come back to you, Maria. Anybody else? If if you don't talk, I'll call your name. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot hide away. Okay. Everybody is sitting here. So who's the third? Next one. Who's the third? Yeah, I'm thinking <coughs> if I, I, I have two, uh, two ideas. One is uh, just like a type of real stuff, like a, you know, a real estate, right? So I saw my neighbor actually did a very good job. So he just bought the corner of land, right? Two, two mm. houses mm. and made, made uh, from two to three. So oh, subdivision. Yeah. Subdivision. So that up, uh, he made the money, a lot of money. So, but yeah, that that one is my, you know, it, compared to my background, it's a different field. But the uh, real field, I'm trying to uh, do maybe maybe the uh, the name I I made it is uh, is kind of a real uh, 3D display. That 3D is not just like uh, the people talk about. Uh, you, sh uh, you see it is uh, you know, using a material put on your screen, right? We can uh, let the image become a 3D. Uh, I'm talking about the, uh, the using the laser system. Laser. laser. Okay. Yeah. So eventually, when we talk about i iCloud, right? Other things. This I, I even think uh, iPhone and those type of display uh, net. Uh, laptop is what we got. Okay, just uh, using uh, the, uh, the whole idea will be uh, in, you create a uh, 3D uh, the, uh, display system, then uh, probably you're not going to be using any uh, keyboard. Your finger will be uh, one of it. Right? Uh, the, uh, also, uh, somehow, but that one is uh, other thing. So some uh, you know system can read your mind, right? Execute your in instruction, but I'm not talking about that one. Yeah, just talking about the system, how to realize it. So using the 3D the kind of thing. Okay, let's focus on your 3D display. Uh -huh. uh, who is your customer? Can can be everybody using the, you know want to have uh, a no, just like a same thing I asked you said. Uh, uh, did you sell your technology to manufacturing, or you already manufactured the product you sold to the end user? Uh, so to so to the user. So you're gonna yeah. complete everything. Yeah. And sold to the user. And what kind of package is on the? What kind of product? Give us an idea. Uh, it's a kind of a laser stuff, right? So generate the uh, using the instruction to generate the audio 3D uh, uh, pattern. So you want to produce this as a consumer product? Uh, can be can be consumer, can be you know, you know, for anywhere. Basically, display you, you need it everywhere. Right. Okay, so for example, you can uh, focus on the consumer first. Yeah, let's just just let me assume you use your product to replace our current. Uh, LCD, LED, mm -hmm. and so we use your product on all the um, whatever template. Um, so we don't use our current screen anymore. Yeah, Step just, uh, yeah. replace it. Yeah, replace, replace them all. Yeah. Is there more like the uh, Star Wars? You know what uh, I'm talking about? Not really. So actually, when I when I was in the university, right, uh, this type of thing already been there. Okay. Okay. So the one I'm going to try is not, uh, you know, really, you know, there is no product there. Okay. So for example, uh, there is a card. Uh, I I I don't know 
on point. So basically, using a laser, we actually uh, generate from the lab. So you can create an image, you know, with a script type using the laser stuff. I, I can imagine yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. Anybody in here? I believe I, I can imagine what you're talking about. Yeah, and also when you go to the concert, right, people are really using this uh, laser to uh, create all this, you know, image, letters, yeah, with the music. Right? So anybody you have your input here? Do you have to wear the 3D glasses? So it's not 3D glasses. You, you don't, don't need, need a speed glasses, right? Yeah. You don't need that. So no. you, your visual, normal visual, you see it as 3D? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that's better. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a, right now the people doing it is just uh, put on the material on the screen, right? And uh, make an image as a 3D. That is uh, the other way to do it, the real uh, 3D stuff. Uh, okay, let me ask you, how realistic the current technology is to achieve your goal. Yeah, current, uh, current, uh, current uh, technology can do already. Already, as I say, about thirty years ago, twenty-five years ago, right? So people can realize it. But the only thing is the cost. How you become a con consumer application? Yeah. Okay. Then my next question is: How about the safety issue? Safety. Right, because laser is somehow, you know, hazards to our eye or whatsoever. So uh, s uh, safety... Uh, have you done any survey or research about yeah, the safety Yeah, at the time, issue? what I do is, uh, is uh, you put in the box, okay, every system uh, within the box is a 3D Oh, so you've done your experiment already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but 3D, because you're talking about without the uh, box, right? So you can maybe, within the, uh, this room, you can have uh, that system. Uh, quite safe, it should be quite safe. So, so, so you, you did, uh, everybody did the uh, laser, laser trip, right? For your eye. So yeah, that type of thing, quite safe. Yeah. So you, so far you've done your experience, but have you done this with your partner, your associate, or just by yourself? So far. I, yeah, at the time, there's uh, several people in the, in the university. Yeah. Any, any pattern issue? Any, um, uh, so far, it's, as far as I you know. I think there is uh, some pattern issue, but yeah, when I claim, right, would, uh, I would not say the methodology, uh, I would not say the, uh, the original of the laser display stuff, but probably will be on the methodology wise. Good. Any other comment? Okay. How big is the size of the distance? Well, if you can produce one, so it would be very huge. Could be very huge. Yeah. So it could be reasonable size like this. No, it can be any sizes. Yeah, but you can for become small one, you can become bigger one. Yeah. What I mean by term terms of size of business is like you can be manufacturing in that or you just design you uh, my eventually thinking is I want to produce the uh, product okay but uh, I will separate it into different phases to do that I realize that so probably it will be uh, you know technology first right and uh, then you uh, license from other people or like create your license for other people. Yeah, another thing I can, even though I'm not from technology science, but another thing I can, uh, I can foresee is the, the, the power problem, power supply. Because as far as I know, laser, you need a lot of power, uh -huh. power lead. And how can you use the power to generate you know, the laser? This is another yeah, issue. The, the power is, uh, is not that, yeah, th that could be another issue. But the, uh, uh, using a, you know, a normal electricity, right, with the, some system, you can generate power. Okay, it's workable. Okay. Okay, workable yeah. okay, we need to control our time, okay? Who's going to be next? Yes. Okay, real estate investment. Okay. Um, but the focus is 
on the depressed area in California. Um, not the Bay Area, but really depressed area like uh, depressed um, area. Central okay. Valley and Stockton, um, Tracy, or even um, Merced. Okay. Talk about a little bit about your business model. Um, before we talk about the value, okay, who are the key players in your business model? Say, how do you, in, how do you invest um, your vendor, your customer, or whatsoever, um, the player? I'm talking, I've already started talking to some friends and colleagues about starting a so the customers is going to be, um, are going to be investors. So I'm thinking about like a um, minimum 100k um, per person. For each person. For each each person. Okay. And uh, the length is uh, um, more than three years. So my goal is at least a minimum 5% return per year. And um, I'm thinking about get at least five so I remember you mentioned uh, three questions um, when you deal with investors or VCs. Yeah. First is, um, do you know how to do it? Right. Um, my answer is uh, yes. Um, I know how to do it um, because I've done it before. Mm -hmm. uh, a second question is uh, actually is, uh, have you done it before? Um, my answer is yes. I uh, personally I have. Um, I've bought you know, two properties in the depressed in, uh, areas. And third question is, do you want to do it again? Yeah, absolutely. Because the return is uh, very good. Okay. That's good. So the business model is kind of simple. But the thing is, uh, at least I have a, at least I have a one input for you. In your business model. One very important key issue is you need to uh, attract people coming in. Yes. Uh, compared to Maria's, Maria's business model just create the service and have the news spread out. But for your business model, you need to attract investor coming in with money. Okay. So so far. At least at this moment, you are the first person I heard. You are bring people come in with money, and that uh, bring me one attention. Okay, you need to be careful. Okay, uh, we need to go step by step. Okay, because when you attract people come in with money, they are called investor. Right. We know they are called investor. You need to be very, very careful about the SEC issue, security issue. Be very, very careful, okay? Because we know it is sometimes important for us to find the money. But right now, your money coming is not from the VC, it's not from the angel, it's from somebody, if say, lay person. If they don't have a uh, investment knowledge, if they are not qualified so-called exam people, then you must be very, very careful. You don't want to touch the SEC issue. Right. So we, we got to go step by step. I just want to bring this to your attention. Same thing to offer you. If you have the same model in your business, you would like to attract people coming in with the money, you must be very, very careful because I saw so many cases and if the business goes sour and those people come in who give you money, they file the lawsuit. And uh, the reason is you violate you know, the SEC. Yes, go ahead. That's why I want to have an attorney to be, um, one be careful to, right, to review, right, to review your claim. Good, good. Okay, who's the next? Li Chu? <coughs> yeah, I don't have anything yet. I'm trying to figure out, trying to sign out high tech, but uh, 
any idea here? Yeah, any idea? Yeah. Yeah. Say something is better than nothing. So, <laughs> say something gonna help you to to think about that. Any any roughly idea? You say technology. No, what kind? Uh, I want to get away from technology. Away from? Yeah. <laughs> so not technology. No. <laughs> okay. Any other thing? Uh, any idea so far? Any idea? Travel related, maybe. Wow. Wow. Uh, something that can help people enjoy life better. Oh. And how do you uh, utilize your limited uh, resources and time in uh, your money and uh, the time, the opinion that you have? Or I don't have anything yet. So. It's okay. Because, you know, you say something better than nothing, okay? When you say something, when you, when you go home, you will make focus. Through what? Say, if this is a goal, through what kind of the tool or through what? So it's more like a portal. So uh, you uh, help people tell me what you like to do, uh, what do you enjoy, and then uh, based on that information, that input to create a package so they can really go enjoy. It's not like travel agent, but it's more like the planning things. Okay. okay uh, Maria has an idea of uh, calling a political event, right? That means you know you, you have wedding. You want a partner? You, you want to you want <laughs> be my partner? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. I, my, mine is more, more virtual than Maria's. Maria has on concrete already. <laughs> mine is more like so. Uh, I, I'm you, tired of technology. That's what I'm saying. I'm tired of technology. My, you, you, so you, you come to me and say, I have $10,000, I have 10 days, I want to go experience something that's very unique. Mm. And, uh, you tell me you like go uh, nature or you want to go explore this uh, adventure, then we put something together for you. So I give you my budget, you give me my maximum leisure. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. So yeah, every time you, know, you, can, you can create more. Okay, who is the next? Who's next? Yes. So then, yes. Mm -hmm. My third one is uh, mobile battery charger. Battery charger? Yeah. Wow, battery charger. Yes. yes. It's not very high tech, right? But I think it's for daily life. Everybody has cell phone, and everybody has a uh, battery, out of battery. So it's not a new product, but it's can use a lot of time. And uh, actually, we already have a manufacturing channel, and we sell very well in Japan. But in America, we just okay. So uh, we think about it in USA, but uh, I mean, the customer's level is kind of different. So we, right now we still do some search where we can uh, get in. So we take some, uh, some uh, international shoe and uh, collect some information about retailer and on, uh, on, online sales, something like that. But right now, mm -hmm, everything is just prepared. <laughs> this time. Let me ask you. When you say battery charger, so I think I already sense you already define your customer ready. Mm -hmm. right? The customer is a battery user. But the problem is, this is the meanest battery. So what kind of user are you going to focus on? What, what kind of device? You mean the, what kind of... When you, when you say battery, eventually oh. you don't mean battery. You mean something, right? You mean something which use battery. So what kind of device you're going to focus on? So I, uh, we are for the uh, uh, battery as a kind of recycle. Okay. Reusable and rechargeable. Okay. So... But say, for example, uh, I'm, I'm a telephone, a cell phone user. Can I can I use your charger to use to yes. charge my? Yes, we can. You, you, our product can use different type of cell phone, just a different type of cable. So 
you can connect an extra battery. You can use this battery to yourself, iPod, Android, Blackberry, iPod, and anything. You can just change, change for the different thing. So actually, customer is already a lot of, but there are still problem is many companies do these things. So, so you mean you have a too many competitors yes. on the market? Yeah, the market is, I mean, five years ago is not so much, but right now a lot of, lots of um, companies do the same things. So we will focus on the quality and cost, something like that. I have another question. Also, you can have your question. I have another question. Mm -hmm. Since I already have my charger ready, when I purchase anything, usually it comes with charger, right? Yeah. So my question is, as, as a user, we already have our charger. Yes. So how can you encourage me mm -hmm. yeah. to buy another charger from you? I mean, the charger, our charger is your charger is you can use your charger like uh, actually the adapter. Oh. I'm not adapter. Oh, right. I'm a battery. Also, the battery including adapter inside. So you can take your battery, go anywhere, any place, anytime you can charge it. Also, so like it's just a as battery as extension. Right? Yeah. It's a so mobile, can, mobile battery. Portable battery. So if you change your phone, iPhone 5 and iPhone 4 is different. So if you change your cell phone much, you can use it. You don't need to change the battery. And you, it can be chargeable five hundred times. So it's very economical. And echo. So I got a better idea, right? It's not battery itself. It's battery extension. So you don't buy it, yes. Yeah. So, so what you are doing is it's a kind of wireless uh, charger or what? No? No, not wireless charger. Oh, okay. You have to have cables. So right now, right now, there's the industry a uh, trend for the wireless chargers. Yeah, so I know. Yes, a lot of. Yeah, so we'll replace everything on this uh, battery chargers. Yes, I will be happy to see the wireless power, you know, in the future very soon. We don't use the cable plug into the wall anymore. You know, everything power is from wireless. That's the next generation. Eventually, I believe somebody study it. This well, big thing. already product. Yeah, yeah. yeah. already product. This big thing. You know, yeah. We don't use the wire anymore. You know, it uh, means this. Uh, in the future, they say the, uh, just uh, maybe one or two years. So, so yeah, you go to the uh, coffee shop, right? Anywhere. So you just uh, there is a table. You put on the just put on your cell phone on it. Okay. And also, Intel doing what Intel doing is uh, you have a laptop, right? So you can put it your cell phone on it. So it will be charged already. Mm -hmm. The wireless power is this is the next one. We're gonna see. Good. Thanks, to them. Uh, Christina. Yes. Yeah. You want to talk about something about your idea? Okay. I just have a couple ideas. Um, so one of them is an electronics product for entertainment. I guess for you know for um, music. So it's like an, it's kind of like an iPod. It's very innovative. Similar to iPod. Well, it's not similar to iPod. It'd be, I mean, but it's 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 innovative, like the iPod idea. You have any name for it so far? Mm -hmm. Or just uh, something we can call it? <laughs> we cannot say electronics, right? We can say. I box. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, tell us what kind of function or benefit you can you can bring to us. Well, it's targeted towards the like, twenty to thirty year olds, you know, which I use it. You mean the young age? Younger age. Okay, so you define your users like between twenty to thirty. Yeah, approximately. Okay. Okay. And what kind of function is it? You can bring in music or video or what? Um, music. Okay. So how can you compete the um, iPod? There is no product in the market like it. And I think even I, 
like even an iPod and they're thinking, well, the iPods they come out with the iTV, then you they come out with mine, you can buy like the iPods <laughs> So what kind of function you want to bring in? So I believe I believe if you have this kind of idea because you think in some area iPod did not solve your problem or did not bring in your satisfaction. So what kind of the extra feature you want to carry it through this box? What kind of what? What kind of feature? Features. What kind of benefit you want to carry it? Um, pretty much if it's compatible with um, other, uh, I mean, you can buy all the music and stuff to carry with it. So, so you kind of have to sell that way. It's possible that it may have like the iTunes type of obscene function, which is nice. How about compared to the current or the obsolete MP3 player? There are so many hundreds of thousands MP3 player it's on not, the market. It's not equivalent. But you think you think your product is more function? Than the regular MP3 player. It has more function. It's very, it's very novel. Okay. All right. So we'll give you more time, you know, to think about that. Who's next? Yes. Um, I want to um, create something like beautiful that people can use in their daily life. So. Um, my idea it's is a product. No, it's uh, because I have a graphic background. I'm a graphic artist. Okay. And I'd like to do more like pattern, you know, the pattern graphic that people can apply um, using on the fashion clothes, purse, uh, or, you know, like the accessory case, right? iPhone case, those pattern. Uh, I want to create those more. So it's like a software or what kind, what kind of what kind of product is? Uh, it's a graphic. It's a design. I, I know it's a graphic. So, so you mean you're the person to do the graphic? Yeah. Do so the you you're, you're more like, like artist. Yes. You're more like an artist. Yeah, because I have so, an artist background. So you I provide your service. Is that mean you are the artist and you provide the the graphic to a customer? Mm -hmm. I still try to figure out. Like, you know, like clothes, they may have different flowers, patterns, yes. that I will be creating those things. Okay. So, uh, I know there's also, they have like, you can do like license part, you can use it, your your design, your graphic patterns. And, but I would think you can partner with some famous fashion designers, that they can use your design for t-shirt, for purse, for things, you know. Um, just my goal. And yeah, maybe, those, maybe, yeah. those patterns also can use like furnitures, you know, mm -hmm. uh, cups, um, just, you know, table cloth, that kind of design. Let me ask you a few questions to make sure I, I understand correctly. So, you would like to provide, uh, say, designing or graphic to your customer. So yes. this is your. It can be factory or it can be yeah. yeah. So this is your basic business model. You are you are the artist, right? Yes. And then when when your customer approach you, they brought you ideas. They please provide me your design or your graphic, uh, either for industry or for anything. No, I, I feel it's more like I design the pattern first and then try to. Sell to them. So they come oh, the to other, the other way, yes. the other way around. Yeah. You design something and you try to sell your design to your customer. Yeah, to use and in their merchandise. Okay. So your customer could be individual or industry or yes. corporation. Yeah. Okay. Would you focus on any major product first? I would Do you have any idea? Fashion stuff no, like because fashion. I love fashion. Okay. And to be realistic, okay. Who will be your customer? Who will be my customer? Um, 
I would target to partner with those famous fashion designers so they can use the pattern to use on their clothes. But have you done any research yet? Not much. Not yet. Yeah. yeah I, I, well, my comment for you is you've done your research to see the competition. Because as far as I know, the fashion design is, if it is not the most competitive business, is one of the most competitive. And uh, you don't know how many thousands, thousands graduate every year they are in this field. And just like you, they are super, they're good, okay, they're perfect. So maybe next time, uh, when we come back, uh, to hopefully you don't change your, your subject, right? you keep the subject. Yeah, so next time when you come back, we may focus on your topic, but we will hear from you. You have done your research to tell us about your competition. And probably number one, how many graduate every year from school, okay? There's a surprise side, right? And the other research is how many designer on the market and you may be able to associate with. And that's demand side. So you have a surprise side, you have a demand side, and we'll get closer how realistic your, your business model is. Because when we talk about business model, it must be realistic, right? So the next time when we get together, uh, hopefully we can hear from you what is your research you know, for the competition. Yeah. All right, who's next? We have a few left, right? So, um, Kelly, you want to talk about your idea? Sure. Yeah. It's called. Okay. Want to write it up? Yes. Sure. Okay. O N. Home. O. 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 o, o. o. Okay. Spell o. it out for you. O. N. N. Capital S. No, no, that's an N. As a Nancy. I'm sorry. Nancy. Capital. Capital S right tied to it. Not no space. I T E. On site. Oh, on site. Trainer is the second word. Trainer, right? All right. Yes. Trainer, right? Yes. Okay. Good. A service. A service. Not a, not a product. It's a service. Okay. Talk about that. Well, a lot of training, this is obviously, this is focused on a specific area of training related to operational engineering. So it's okay. not like training on anything, it's just that area. Okay. And uh, a lot of training is either you go off-site to go to the trainer's location, or you have them come on site and they provide training that's three or four days in a row. Am I correct? Yeah concept here is that you actually bring the training on site, but the training is spread over a 10 or 12 week period, and you come on site once a week. The intention being by doing that is much more effective and making sure people retain the learnings. And training would include coaching and applying the learnings to a real problem. So that's kind of the concept. Okay, so this is a broad concept. Uh, I get to remember it's strictly for operations or anything like that. Okay. So what people would call lean or six sigma or industrial engineering or something like that. And you talk about this as a more like a technology type of training, right? Technical. Well, it's technical training. I wouldn't say technology. It's technical training. Okay. Yes. This would be there's a variety of things you can teach. Things like process modeling, workforce engagement, change management, uh, and then just pure operation engineering, operation improvements. For the, uh, for the technical, do you have a scope? What kind of technical? Or? As I say, I keep saying it's OWA, so it's, it's got to be falling within the operation engineering world. So all the training material and classes it would, are all within that. And it would include certification so that people would see that if you've been through the training, you've achieved a certain level and you're proficient at it. So, for example, for operational engineering, you could have a 
facilitator certification, and then you can have a strategist certification. And the same thing with other types of training. Okay, another issue is, uh, is there uh, any ISO issue? I mean, industry standard issue? No, the, the, right now the, the industry is cowboy, and it's, uh, it, it's the Wild West right now. Okay. Yeah. And also you mentioned on site here, right? Yes. Uh, Do you have any geological scope or could be global? Or? For first, my intention is to stick to North America with it eventually franchising, okay. all right, across North America. And then if that succeeds enough, then worry about going global. But I'd like it to definitely go global. Okay. Do we mean that you have to, in time, retain enough instructors that are properly trained across the, uh, the nation or across the world? That's good. Yes, I just want to remind everybody, okay, for everything we discussed here, the reason why I say I hope to not, you don't change your subject, because all of discussion here hopefully will lead to your final 15 minutes video presentation. So this is why I say we go step by step for each session. We talk about this. Today we talk about business model and next time probably financing and next time probably the employee, your team, right? And the last session I will talk about the contract. All of those contracts you may need to use, right? So hopefully we, we're gonna stick with your subject then we can lead. We'll talk yeah. The last one is we'll talk about. Uh, contract. I will provide you the different type variety, the sample of contract and you may need to use. Thank you. For your you know, for your purpose. Okay, we have a few more left, so who is next? Tao Liu. Yeah, uh, <coughs> I think I will scrap stop, but I I feel, you know, you right now is a International travelers, international, uh, with a lot in the Korea. So I'm thinking maybe uh, we could have some investment to buy a hotel or oh, hotel investment. Yeah, you know, maybe just like the real history. This one, this one, yeah, interesting. The hotel would be as hot as uh, the house. You know? mm -hmm. I think the travel industry is even getting harder than the, the house. Just need to find the you know the right location and the, you know, the level of the hotel. Interesting. Okay, let me ask you and give you more opportunity to talk about this. Uh, international hotel investment. Uh, you have any location preference about hotel in the United States or? Yeah, U.S. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, actually California is a better. Even place. better. Than east coast because in this weather. area yeah. and the weather is good. A yeah. lot of travelers all year round and have business. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then you have any? Have you done any research yet so far, or just a concept? Um, very rough. Very rough. That's fine. Yeah. Do you have any price range? Roughly speaking, do you have any price range? So from. Couple million dollars or or up, okay. yeah, but that right. really need a lot of investment to you know, have to have a lot of investor okay. to do that. But so it really has a, it's a traditional uh, I'll say that it's a, it's a traditional you know, business. Have you thought about the uh, the franchise? With the brand name, or doesn't matter. When I say brand name, mean yeah, you have them also a factor. That's the thing when you have to think about. With the brand name. Yeah. Wait, the yeah. other side. The other side is your investor. Yeah. Your investor is from China, from Hong Kong, or yeah, local. Um, anywhere. I mean, a lot of people in China they do not find the opportunity to invest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a potential field. It will be interesting. So your business model is you more like a middleman, right? You more like the um, the yeah. the agent or broker or middleman or manager whatsoever. You put together, right? You put together the investor with their money yeah. to the hotel, 
the seller, you put it together. Yeah. Roughly speaking, because you know, probably it's not finalized, but your rough idea is yeah, yeah. you just find out any kind of international hotel opportunity, then you can introduce this to your investor and yeah. they put the money in. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're getting more and more about your idea. We have last one, Andy. You are the last one for the day. <laughs> Should I? <coughs> uh, wait a moment. Andy is the last one, right? I want to make sure. Right? Everybody agree? Andy is the last one? He was the last one too, the last time. Okay, good. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Oh, the okay. last one. I remember that. Okay. All right, so you got the last one, okay? okay. Actually, I am, uh, for this, uh, my thing is very tough life for my company and I'm over uh, loaded for the job and also uh, transition running so great. That's why I really, I, w I, w I was thinking, but I, I did not catch any idea yet. This is fine, talk about uh, the product or service. Okay, actually, uh, I, I have several thoughts, but did not go through the, I mean... Uh, Just give us one. Research, okay. The uh, one is uh, petroleum. How do you spell that? Pe uh, the gasoline oil, petroleum. P-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-
at the end of the semester. Any other input so far? Any other? We, we're gonna have a meet uh, uh, next session by next week. And again, um, I changed our midterm a little bit. There is no midterm for next week. I think it's too early to have midterm. So I reschedule it to November the 3rd. So you just come in next week, next Saturday, just like today, we'll have a discussion. And we're going to go further your final project. But we're going to subject, change the subject, change the, the, the focus. Right? So you don't need to prepare your midterm. Only on the November the 3rd, the midterm is 30 minutes by the end of the uh, the discussion, we're gonna have the, the, the in class. It's not really the real meter, it's just one very, very simple questions. Okay, you just write it down your idea, your answer, your analysis, then you either email to me or give me the printout whatsoever. That is on November the 3rd. Uh, yeah, well, what is our midterm? Uh, it was scheduled yeah. on your paper oh, the next week, but no, no. Yes. It's right now, I changed to November the 3rd. Right, but what is our midterm going to be? Uh, what are we going to do? Let me see, okay, let me give you an idea. More likely than not, okay, your midterm is to start, gonna start on 5, five o'clock, 5 p.m., and you finish by 5.30. You either give me the hard copy printout or you send email to my inbox by 5.30 p.m. on November the 3rd. Mm -hmm. I will give you the questions. I will give you the questions on, you know, right before the 5 p.m. I mean, when we have done our discussion, the normal discussion on November the 3rd, I'll give you the questions. But for those of you, if you are not be able to attend my class on the 3rd, you let me know. Okay, I will send you the questions before that. Then you just send it. Email to me, give me the uh, hard copy by 5.30 the same day. But you promise me you will not share the questions with anybody else. You just keep the questions for yourself. This is it. Yeah, um, so the questions is based on what we're going to talk yes, about Yes, we talk about day. so far, not, not necessary for today. I will give the questions is the topic we discussed from the first class till till, till 5 p.m. Yeah, till 5 p.m. <laughs> so and they are probably at least minutes, five topics, right? We Maybe. have 30 minutes to answer Yeah, that. 30 minutes to answer Yeah. So, so far we already covered three topics already, right? We have uh, the, uh, the, the VC discussion, we have a business plan, we have a business model so far, and we may have uh, you know, the employment issue whatsoever. So the questions must be covered. So I will not give you any surprise. Do we get to study? Yeah, it's open book, open note, but you just cannot share, you just cannot discuss with anybody else. You just have your your own answer by yourself, that's it. I promise you the questions must, must be very, very interesting. You know, there is no right or wrong answer, but I would more like to see your analysis. Well, okay, I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll be here. What if I'm not here? How am I going to answer the yes. questions? Yes, for those of you, if you already know you won't be here, you let me know, individually, okay? Then I will send you the email before that. And my email will not be too early. I will say I will send you the email probably by Friday. Uh, that's November the 2nd, okay? I will send you the email by Friday, but you need to promise, promise me, you need to send back your email say, I promise, Professor Tong, I will not share the questions to anybody else. Then you send me the acknowledgement. Same thing, you can send me back your answer earlier, that's fine, but no later than 5.30, November the 3rd. And same thing, you got it, the same credit. So got clear? Everybody get clear? God bless you. Okay, anybody? So I'm going to see you next Saturday. All right, see you around.